It's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and I have some new products that I found at Expo West in Anaheim. And I'm just showing them to you. We have some crackers, and this is all raw. We've got some nut clusters, and we also have some macaroons. So here they all are, and we're going to sample them all live. And welcome. So this year at Expo West, I keep finding some really great products, and I want to thank the owners of this company, which are Angela and Trisha. I met them at the show, and they provided me with these great products. And I just want to tell you a little bit about these products. So the company is called Real and Wonderful, and the initials are actually R-A-W, which is actually really cool. So they are non-GMO certified, they are gluten-free certified, they are vegan certified, and they are kosher certified. So that is really great. And they actually have that, and I love their packaging too. They have the peekaboo little um, uh, space right here. And on the top of the packaging, you can see that's the gluten-free, the non-GMO, the kosher, and the, US, and the uh, vegan. And then as far as, um, I'm not sure if they're USDA certified at the moment, um, but they are all non-GMO. They do use mostly uh, organic ingredients. So, um, and they are based out of Ohio. So it, it started from two, two women who used to be in touch with each other. It tells you the story in the back of the package, which is really cool. So it's a majority woman-owned company. And they're committed to creating an environment that allows women to manage the multiple priorities that typically exist for them. And so they said here, we, we believe our chance, our quote, chance meeting was no accident. And we are grateful for the God-given opportunity to bring you and your family the best products for your health. So basically, these women came together after chance meeting, quote unquote, at a local gym. And that's when this idea for the company came about. So their products are dehydrated at low temperatures to maintain the, the nutritional value. And they use almond as a universal ingredient because it offers a unique package of nutrients, including protein, fiber, and a rich range of vitamins and minerals. So we are going to try these. And uh, the first one we're going to try, we're going to try the savory products first, and then we'll go to the sweet. So um, so this is the tomato basil crackers. I actually tried all their products at the show, and they're amazing. So we're going to open up this package right here. I love these packaging that have... Um, you just tear them across, and then they have a Ziploc, if I can open it. <laughs> it's easier said than done. I'm having a hard time opening it. Maybe I should get my scissor. I do have a scissor. So pardon me, I will get my scissor, because that will be easier for me to do this. Since since they are made so well, don't seem to want to tear open that easily. So we're going to just cut it. And then we're going to take a sample of this product. Hopefully I can get it open now that I've cut it doesn't seem to want to still open. I think I need to cut it down a little bit lower to where the actual Ziploc is. Let's see. Still not getting it. So it just shows you it's a good product. It's so good that they won't even let me open it. Actually, I got it open now. So here is our tomato basil crackers. So they have in here tomatoes, raw almonds, gluten-free oats, brown flax seeds, um, some agave, sea salt, and basil. Not a big agave fan. I prefer using other sweeteners, but that is what they have in here. And it's it's not very high. There's actually really virtually no sugars. So, okay, so we're going to take a little taste. Here's what it looks like. Really nice looking cracker. If you can see the different textures on it, and you can see all the actual ingredients. It's not like something where you say, oh, what is that? You don't even know what it's made of because it's actually not food. So um, it's really nice that you could actually see the ingredients in the product. So let's take a taste. Mmm. It's very mild. I don't taste any sweet to it. I can definitely taste the almonds and the oats. I don't really taste the basil that much. It tastes to me like a really nice, almost like a flatbread. And, you know, if you have any kind of seasoning, if you want to put avocado on it or have it with your soup or as a dip, it would be really nice. So that's the tomato basil. The next savory one we have here is the red pepper herb crackers. Again, great packaging. I love the colors around. Actually, each packaging has a different color. 
This one happens to have the green and brown, and this one is the red and brown. Let's see if we can open this one. Oh, this one opens much easier. Better than the last one. So let's take a taste, but first let me tell you what's in here. We've got red peppers, raw almonds, oats, flaxseed, salt, thyme, rosemary, and oregano. So let's show you. Mm, and I can smell the pepper. So that one also looks really pretty. See that? Also, you can see the pepper in there. Mm. I can definitely taste the herbs in this one. The uh, rosemary and the oregano. I really like oregano. This is this is the I guess you'd call the Italian Italian flavor I would say, and the other one the tomato basil is also Italian but I don't taste the basil that much. I taste the herbs more in the red pepper one. So that was really good. I like that. I like it. it has a nice crunch. It's a little dry, so just so you know, if you're going to eat products like this that are dehydrated, you definitely want to make sure that you're going to consume liquid to balance out the dehydration. So the next ones we're going to try are the uh, dark chocolate cherry nut clusters. Again, gluten-free and handmade. Um, these are not; these particular ones are not raw, whereas the other two, the crackers, are raw and vegan. These are actually not raw because they use maple syrup, which is not raw. So this one has raw almonds, cashews, maple syrup, cherries, macadamia, cacao butter. Agave, cacao powder, coconut maca, sea salt, and organic cayenne. That's interesting to put cayenne in here. I never would have thought of doing that. So let's take a taste and see. Oh, it's a little bit, little crumbs coming out of the top here. So, but it opened up very easily. So let's take a taste and show you what it looks like actually. You can see actually in the package the clusters, which is nice. So you, I can show that to you too. Look, wow, look at that big cluster. I don't know if I can eat that whole thing, so we'll take a smaller piece. That's just to show you that it's just whole ingredients that are put together. And I guess it's the maple syrup that that helps it adhere together. But look how cool that is. You see actually what you're eating. Real food. I like that. So let's try a smaller cluster. There we go. Mm. Very nice. So this is the dark chocolate cherry nut. Very nice. It's not too sweet. It has a little bit of sweetness to it, but it has a nice, nice flavor to it. Very nice. So that's one of the clusters. The other one that we have is the Super Food Nut Cluster. Also gluten-free. It's not raw because they do use maple syrup. This has almonds, cashews, maple syrup, macadamia, raisins, cranberries, goji berries, maca, cacao nibs, and sea salt. So this is the superfood one, and the reason why it's a superfood one is because, um, especially goji, maca powder is actually also considered a superfood, but goji berries are definitely a superfood. So let's take a taste of that one. We open it up here. And let's see. I can show you that as well. You can see in the package how cool that looks. The package, you see the whole ingredients. So let me show you how this looks. So it's similar to the other one because they use similar ingredients to the other clusters, except this one adds gojis and um, and cranberries. So let's take a smaller one to, to actually sample. Mm. This one tastes a little sweeter. It is sweeter. Um, it's probably because of the cranberries and the raisins. I could taste more of the sweetness in this one. Got a nice crunch, and again, better to eat a whole food snack than to eat a no food snack. <laughs> Meaning, other things that you're eating are not, I wouldn't even consider food. So, whole food snack instead of non non food snack. So that was really good. The next ones we're gonna get to are the macaroons. So let's take a look. These are actually also gluten free and handmade. And these are the coconut macaroons, and again, they're not raw because they do use maple syrup. Uh, they use coconut, raw almonds, cashews, maple syrup, extra virgin coconut oil, some pure vanilla beans, and sea salt. So that's why they can't consider themselves raw is because they do use the maple syrup, and maple syrup is not raw. So let's get that open. And take a taste. And these are really nice too. You can see in the packaging. You can see the co co coconut macaroons. And these are nice. You can look at them. 
See, they look like little macaroons. So we're going to take a taste. I like coconut, so for me, that's a win. I do like the flavor. It has a really nice flavor, actually. And this is not as high in sugar as the other nut clusters, but it is sweet. I can definitely taste the sweetness from the maple syrup, but it is flavorful. A little bit moister than the um, crackers, of course. But again, make sure you drink up. Have some water when you're done. And then the final product here that we're going to sample is the chocolate coconut macaroons. Again, gluten-free, handmade. Not raw because they use maple syrup. They use coconut, raw almonds, cashews, extra virgin coconut oil. They use cacao powder, pure vanilla, and sea salt. So the only thing different this has than the other macaroons is they put in the chocolate. So let's take that. Let's open that one up. I guess the rest of these packages are easy to open. So that's good. Otherwise, maybe they didn't want me to eat them. <laughs> I hope they would. So here again, beautiful packaging. Again, each package has a different color on the bottom. They're all brown on the top, but the other ones, which is nice contrast. So here's the ones. They look like chocolate. They look have that chocolate color. So you have the blonde and the bl and the brown. So let's give a taste. Mm. Very nice. This doesn't taste as sweet, even though it's the same amount of sugar. I don't know what balances it out. Maybe the cacao absorbs some of it. This tastes moister than the other coconut ones, so very nice. Very nice flavor. So, you know, this is a great new company. That you'll have to check out, and um, they have their crackers and their nut clusters, two varieties of nut clusters and two varieties of macaroons. And again, they're called Real and Wonderful, and each letter, the dot between each letter spells out raw, which is pretty cool. And um, I love to see women-owned companies more that are creating products that are good for good for everybody. And of course, you know, I'm sure they're people who have kids, great snacks to take with you to school. You know, you might not take the whole bag, although it's easy to eat the whole bag. You would just take out some and put them in another little bag, baggie to take with to school. And then you could have a healthy, real food snack as opposed to a non-food snack to take with you. Have on the road, it's great food on the road. Or if you go hiking, um, you know, as opposed to like, what am I going to eat? Better to eat real food. So... Definitely check out Real and Wonderful. And I will have a link below this video so you can check them out. Check out their website and see what they're up to. And see where you can find them in your stores. This is the Russ and Vegan Gal. Thanks for watching.